Leads and what's gone on. Shall we talk about that? But before we do, yes, I haven't put out a lot of content because I've actually been really busy with work and I've had sort of a promotion with the wages to go with it. It's nice to get a bit of recommendation or, or recognition, I should say, in the end. But anyway, moving on. So Leeds, um, what was that? Roma family that had their kids taken off and because they fucked off out to work and left the kids to fend for themselves. Usually that's quite a case of neglect. I watched something on um, TV about it when uh, I was watching this police thing and how they'd gone to this door and this little girl had answered and said, well, mummy and daddy are at work and are all day. And it was snowing outside and these little, just little tots. And yeah, they got all the social services. And to be honest, if the kids have to fend for themselves, anything could happen to themselves. So they were right to take them away. Now, the demographics in that area are a very small propor uh, proportion of Roma, Romanian, um, and the rest of it is the religion of peace. Now, the religion of peace are never to be ones to miss out on the opportunity to kick off for any given reason. And this was their said given reason. So what do they do? Well, they do what they do in Ireland, France, Germany, and every other place that they're building in numbers. They trash the fucking place. They set fire to the transport, like the buses. They'll set fire to police cars. And they'll just trash the fucking place. And while you've got feral kids documenting this on, uh, say, for instance, Instagram, YouTube, and other platforms, Facebook, whatever, uh, which obviously gives them a big boost to their, their cred and whatever, um, the police sit back and, after having a small breaking, do fuck all. But it was incident. Well, it did make one arrest actually, and it was a white woman because, hey, when you can't tackle the primary source of the problem, which is Islam and its followers, what you do is you go after the secondary problem. These are people that are pointing out the first problem. If you actually notice, you will notice that they went after Tommy Robinson many times because of he was pointing out the grooming gangs, etc., and things like that. And what they do, actually, in saying that, they've gone after me before because I'd actually pointed out a nonce in the area. And they said that I could cause harm to him. But yet I was pointing out that that bloke could possibly do harm to kids. This is how the police work. But the police are terrified of Islam and don't know how to deal with it. Now, I've just watched something that Tommy did earlier on, by the way. Um, and, and incidentally, he's done something about a two-tier police system. And if you can't see two-tier policing here, say, for instance, white people come out to do a protest, they'll come out with batons and all the rest of it and bat a fuck out of them, right? When it's Islam, they go out softly, softly, because they just can't cope with it because it's a massive force that goes out on force. You don't deal with one, you deal with all. And they absolutely terrify. So they don't deal with it. But anyway... um. Tommy pointed out this two-tier policing system, but do you know what? Sometimes you lose your track. He's he's doing a demonstration on the 27th, and it's going to be his biggest yet, and he's going to um, unveil the two-tier policing system, which should be interesting. Ah, I'm at work, and the bloke's here to unlock the gate, so I better be quick. What I did notice going back years ago is I did a lot of study of, I'll go back to Northern Ireland for an example, and what they did, this is the British system. This is the British the people that controlled that area decided what they were going to do was stir up tensions by going into one enclave, like a Catholic enclave one night, and causing trouble there, generally going out and shooting an innocent Catholic. And then what they would do is they'd go into a Protestant area the next night and do the same. And they wanted to stir up civil unrest to such a point that people would hate it that much and they'd want to come to the table and... Um, go for peace one second yeah sorry mate <laughs> so uh yeah we're gonna tip um but what i did notice is that um the system itself will stir up for its own gains and the reasons for this will i'll never get you'll never get but they have a policy they have a reason and all this paperwork 40 50 years later is all coming out now i've got a friend over in northern ireland that's actually uh, documenting this and um it's happened all over the world and I can't help but think there will be agitators that will go into communities not that they need a lot of help by the way and literally stir up this sort of stuff we've seen it on our own protest they'll put the police in there undercover and these will be the ones that will pretend to be drinking stirring up fighting and stuff like that I mean yes we do have our own people that are drinking and stuff like that but that's getting less and less but they will they will stir it up. They will make sure that it looks one way or acts one way. And I'm just wondering that some of these people that go out in these areas, are they adjutants? They might not be, they might just be the locals, but it's a thought. But here's the thing. 
I haven't done many live streams for a while, and tonight I think we'll do a live stream, okay? And that will be my rev on a rant. The link will be in the description below. And also, afterwards, I'll be taking questions from you, um, as well as the call-in on the night, on Discord. Discord is an app where you can talk amongst yourselves. You can obviously speak like this to each other, or you can type in the comments. The link will be in the description. You can either watch the live stream in there and talk to the others about the live stream going forward, or you can meet us in there afterwards. Well, we usually get 20 or 30 people um, some have had a drink, some haven't, and we'll all have a chat, and we haven't done this for a while, and I decided I'd behave myself today and have a constructive day, since I'm working in the morning anyway, I might as well do the chores in the afternoon, stay half about, and then do a live stream, because um, I've not done a lot lately, but um, this job, I've got to run, I don't know, five other men, um, and it's very fluid. Everything's changing by the by the minute with this job, and uh, that's just the nature of the beast. So I am fairly busy during the day, and to actually be able to watch content or watch other stuff that's going on in the news, and then do the content is difficult at the moment. But I will try it. Anyway, gotta go. See you in a bit.